Hi, my name is Jeremy, this is Red Beans Recording, and today I wanted to take a little second to talk to you about how I get my music on services outside of SoundCloud and Bandcamp, and that's things like iTunes, Spotify, Google Music, Amazon Music, Tidal, I don't know, a whole bunch of other ones. All the things where people actually listen to music for real, real. And that is through a service called DistroKid. To be completely honest, DistroKid contacted me and was like, hi, would you like to talk about DistroKid? And I was like, I don't know. At first I was like, well, that's kind of like shilling DistroKid. But the more I thought about it, the more I realized that there's actually something interesting to say here. Ugh. So I'm gonna start at the beginning of my musical journey and talk about some of the challenges I faced when I was just starting out versus how things are now. So when I first started making electronic music on whatever computer I could get my hands on a long time ago, there wasn't anything like DistroKid or even Bandcamp or Spotify or anything like that. I didn't have any way to play anything for anybody. So I would uh, grab a cassette deck and record things to tape and carry that around with me and that was pretty much it. I remember when I bought my first external CD burner. It was like a 4X CD burner that plugged in via USB. It was slow as heck, it failed all the time, but I was so excited because I could burn a CD. Being able to burn a CD kind of like democratized music for me because all of a sudden I could do the same thing that everybody else could do. All those CDs that you could pay like $15 for or whatever, like I could do that too in my home, and it only took like two hours to burn a CD, it was great. Then things like SoundCloud came around, and for a long time, SoundCloud was my main way of distributing music. I would put stuff up, sometimes I would let people download it, sometimes I would just put it up for people to listen, and that was great. I still use SoundCloud to put tracks up, and I think it's a really good service. And then years and years later, we got Bandcamp, and Bandcamp is still one of my main distribution platforms. I have a lot of stuff up there, I'll put a link to it in the description. You should click on it. Last year, when the channel started really heating up and people really, really wanted to listen to like the OP1 tracks and other stuff that I had made constantly over and over again, I got people asking me, when are you gonna put this on Spotify? When are you gonna put this on Spotify? Spotify, 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 Spotify. And I was like, I don't know. I've never thought about doing that. I worked for a company in San Francisco doing music distribution for like five years. And at the time, the service seemed really, really janky to me. And both from an employee perspective and a, a client perspective, I really got turned off to the idea of using another service for digital music distribution. So when people started asking for Spotify and stuff like that, I'm like, oh man, I don't really know how I'm gonna do this. All the services I know are really, really terrible. And yeah, it just, it wasn't something I was super interested in. So I did a little bit more research and ended up finding out about DistroKid. And signed up for the service and realized that this was something that gave me that feeling of burning that CD and democratizing music, but on a much larger scale. All of a sudden, I had the ability to put my music on platforms that the gatekeeping for up until this point had been like enormous. Getting on Apple, getting on Spotify, getting on Google Music, like most people don't have the resources to do this unless they have a label or want to pay a ton of money to a distribution service that's also going to take a cut. So in comes DistroKid, $19 a year, uh, like 150 something services, including all the ones that you are familiar with. Uploading is super, super easy. You go through track by track, upload a WAV file or something uncompressed. It handles the metadata and stuff like that for you across all the platforms. One of the things I learned from working in music distribution for a long time was how difficult it was to match style guides across all these different um, digital marketplaces. So iTunes has their own crazy ass style guide. Spotify, Google Music, all of them have their own style guide on how uh, metadata is ingested and displayed. And if you don't know how to do that per store, you are not gonna get your stuff on the store. It's gonna get taken down. DistroKid handles that for you. You know, you have a single upload dialog and uh, once you put the metadata in there, DistroKid will handle sending it everywhere correctly. Um, it will even tell you if you're doing it wrong, like uh, remix artist or featured artist. These are tricky things. And DistroKid will walk you through how to enter that information so that once it gets on the store, it stays on the store. It handles cover song licensing. You can do splits. So if you want to run a label or something like that, you can put in different people getting paid and they'll split the money out to those different people. Recently, they hooked people up with the ability to manage their own Spotify artist account. So I got to upload like a cover image and stuff like that to Spotify to make it look all fancy. I think you can add lyrics to places now too, which is really, really cool. I know I'm shilling for this pretty hard, but the amount of stuff that you get for $20 a year as an individual and not some big label uh, is actually pretty, pretty crazy. They'll keep a digital archive of your tracks so you can download them if you need to later. Uh, if you want to pay a little bit of extra money, they will actually keep your tracks up everywhere after you pass away. So even when you're a ghost, your music will live on forever.
which is a little morbid to think about, but honestly, it's also kind of cool. Distro Kid. So that's that's me talking about why I think Distro Kid's important. It's given me the opportunity to share my music with you in a way that I would never have been able to for any decent price with any decent amount of features. And it made it really, really easy. So first off, thank you people watching for pushing me to put my music on those services because it's really changed my perception of the landscape of what I can do as a musician. And thanks to Distro Kid for making it super, super easy to do that. I'm going to put a link in the description to all of my music on all these different services. And uh, yeah, thanks for listening to me talk, I mean show, about DistroKid. DistroKid! I'm Jeremy, this is Red Means Recording, and I hope you have a wonderful day.